If you're tired of eating protein bars because they're hard and dry, then you should meal prep these mini protein cheesecakes. They only require a few ingredients and they're only 33 calories each, which means you can eat multiple of them every single day and easily fit it into your calories and macros. And these protein cheesecakes have way better calories and macros than most protein bars you could buy at a grocery store. And I'm gonna show you how to make a high protein creamy cheesecake batter in a blender that uses a simple everyday ingredient that you could find at your grocery store. It starts with two eggs. We need to whip up the egg whites. I recommend using a glass or metal bowl because if you use plastic, the pores in the bowl are a little too big and sometimes the fat particles from the egg whites, actually the egg yolks, can get stuck in there. Also, fat particles from like your hand or oil or anything you made the previous time using that bowl, yolk cracked. Anytime fat gets in the egg white, it won't whip up, so you can't use this anymore. Omelet. Let's try again. Please, clean crack. Please. Thank you. Whoops. Egg yolks have almost no protein and egg whites have all the protein. So if you're only using the egg whites in this recipe, you're kind of getting rid of all the fat in the egg and using all the protein in the egg. That's not to say egg yolks are unhealthy or bad. I just don't want them in this recipe. Keep mixing the egg whites on a high speed for three to four minutes. It's gonna take a little bit of time, but if you keep mixing on a high speed, it's gonna whip up and get really frothy and thick. Once you have stiff peaks, you should be very happy, stop. Now get a blender, let's make this filling. Cottage cheese is the secret to this recipe. Use 2% because if you use fat-free, oh my God, it will taste like plastic. But if you use 2%, 100 calories, 13 grams of protein. 200 calories, 26 grams of protein. That is insanely good macros. That's better than most protein bars. It's gonna add all the cheesecake flavor without the cream cheese because fat-free cream cheese, you never know if you can find it when you go to the grocery store. We're gonna start with 200 grams of cottage cheese. It is super thick and chunky, which is gross. Not gonna work, but if we blend it, it's gonna taste super creamy and cheesecakey. And to add even more creaminess and more protein, we're gonna go in with the same amount, 200 grams of Greek yogurt. Thank God this is not chunky. I love eating on Greek yogurt and snacking on it. And if it was chunky, I would be very upset. A pinch of salt, a big glug of vanilla extract, half a scoop of casein protein powder. Casein protein powder is dairy protein powder. It's found in Greek yogurt and milk. It's super thick and creamy, and that's why we need to use it, except it doesn't rise, it doesn't get fluffy, so we wanna use a little bit of whey. Whey is more drying, so if you use it on its own, it's gonna get way too dry, but if you use it in combination with casein, equal amounts of both, then you get the right balance between moistness and fluffiness. And then we wanna go in with seven grams of pudding mix. Sugar-free pudding mix, you can use vanilla, you can use cheesecake flavor, whatever flavor you want, seven grams. And then lastly, my favorite sweetener, erythritol. 24 grams or two tablespoons of this stuff. It looks like sugar, bakes like sugar. It's the best sweetener in my opinion. Blend all this. Preheat your oven to 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Look at how creamy that cheesecake batter is. And it is thick. Ooh. Get your whipped egg whites. Pour some of your batter in and mix it throughout. Don't worry about folding everything in. The egg whites are gonna lose some of their volume, but they're still gonna keep this thing airy. Just slowly pour and mix. Mix all this together. Don't worry about folding or being gentle, just mix. It's gonna keep its airiness, don't worry. Back in the blender to make pouring easy. And see that? We added so much volume before. It wasn't filling up the blender, now it's about to overflow. Let's make mini cheesecakes so you can meal prep them for the whole week and eat them whenever you want. Single serving, baby. Quick oil spray, pour in your batter into every single mold. Take these, throw them in your oven at 250 degrees Fahrenheit. After one hour, open the oven and test. Take a fork and put it right in. Comes out clean. Let it rest on your counter until it gets to room temperature, around 30 minutes. And then once your cheesecakes have cooled to room temperature, take all of them and throw them in your fridge for at least an hour to cool completely. Let's make a quick frosting by adding 75 grams of Greek yogurt, four grams of pudding mix, and one packet of sweetener. You can use erythritol if you want to, but we don't need the crystallization for this. So mix this all up. The pudding mix adds a great flavor, but also gets this real nice and thick. Set this in your fridge, let it chill with the cheesecakes. The cheesecakes have cooled completely. Let's top them with icing. Some of it's sticking to the side, but pop it right out of the wrapper and look at that. A nice mini cheesecake. 
Are you a fruity cheesecake person? Then you could top these with jam, like strawberry jam or chopped up strawberries. But I want cookies and cream cheesecakes and birthday cake or sprinkled cheesecakes. So instead, I'm going to use an Oreo, but no cream. You slice open the Oreo, you get rid of the cream because... Too many calories, you don't need it. You want the black cocoa flavor of the actual cookie. It doesn't taste like chocolate. I made a whole video on why Oreos don't taste like chocolate, but the flavor in the actual cookie is where it's at. So take this and crumble it up. Both of these combined have only 30 calories, cookies only. The entire Oreo, I believe it's more than that. Give your icing one more mix. It has thickened up so much that pudding mix, when it gets cold in the fridge, take a tiny spoon of icing and just plop it right on top of each cupcake. And then you can spread it around a little bit. Just take your cookie, crumble it. You're not gonna miss the cream. The cream doesn't even add that much flavor. It's a cheesecake, there's already creamy enough. It has that cheesecakey flavor, you don't need the cream, but you need the cookie because the crunchiness that this provides, that texture is gonna make all the difference. Take this and top some of the cheesecake with the Oreo crumbs. Rainbow sprinkles, it looks the best for the thumbnail. I had to guys, I had to. I'm gonna have the calories and macros of each mini cheesecake on the screen right now. Each one is only 33 calories, five grams of protein, two grams of carbs and 0.3 grams of fat, which means you can easily eat multiple cheesecakes every single day and fit it into your calories and macros and into your diet seamlessly. The cottage cheese is a secret ingredient, it keeps the calories super low. The calories and macros I just said are without the toppings, but the Oreos, they're only gonna add like four calories per cheesecake and the sprinkles are only gonna add like five calories per cheesecake max. So even with the toppings, you're looking at under 40 calories per mini cheesecake and you could use any topping you want. So get creative with this and customize this recipe how you like it. Check out my cookbook. It has over hundred recipes that make dieting and losing weight super easy and effortless and way more enjoyable. I'm always updating the cookbook with more and more recipes. And when you buy it once, you get every single future recipe for free. Tons of sweet recipes, tons of savory recipes, a bunch of meal prep recipes, a lot of single serve recipes. The varieties are endless. Over hundred recipes that help me lose hundred pounds. So it's gonna help you for sure. Pop a mini cheesecake out. It just melts in your mouth. It's insanely soft, insanely creamy. I wonder what would happen if we combine the cookies and cream I got a little Oreo crumbs on the side, plus the sprinkles. It's gonna be good, I already know. We just added a little tiny dollop of icing onto each cheesecake and it makes a huge difference. The crunch is gonna be great for this. Cottage cheese is my new favorite ingredient. It is horrible on its own. Chunky, gross, disgusting. I can't eat it. But when it's blended up, it gives you that cheesy, cheesecakey flavor without the cream cheese. It's insane. You need to try it and let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next video.